Well, Guy Brush Threepwood, you do turn up in the strangest places. Uh, hi, Elaine. Uh, do you think you could help me out? How did you get into this mess? <laughs> it's kind of a long story. Oh, that's okay. I've got time. Uh, well, it all started on Scab Island. Some of my admiring fans had pressured me into telling my LeChuck evaporating story once again. Deep in the Caribbean, Scab Island. So I bust into the church and say, Now you're in for it, you bilious bag of barnacle bait! And then LeChuck cries, Guybrush, have mercy! I can't take it anymore! I think I know how he must have felt. Yeah. If I hear this story one more time, I'm gonna be crying myself. Don't you have any new stories? Well, actually, that's why I'm here on Scab Island. I'm on a whole new adventure. Growing a mustache? No. Bigger than that. A beard? No, I'm in search of treasure. The biggest treasure of them all. A treasure so valuable and so well hidden that it haunts the dreams of every pirate on the seas. You mean... Big whoop? None other. Then why'd you come here? There's no treasure on Scab Island. Well, I didn't know that before. Now I'm trying to charter a ship and look someplace else. When I return, I'll have riches galore and a whole new story. Or you'll have died trying. Either way, we won't have to hear about LeChuck anymore. Ha! Those guys wouldn't know a good story even if they paid 50 bucks for it. When I find Big Whoop, I'll become a legend among pirates for generations to come. I can only charter a ship and get off this stinking island. Welcome to Woodtick. No treasure hunting zone. Oops. I think I broke the sign. Where do you think you're going, fancy pants? You ain't from these parts, are you? This is a toll bridge. You gotta pay. Is this some sort of bribe situation? No, more like extortion. Here, allow me to demonstrate. <laughs> Help! Police! <laughs> Scream as loud as you want. There's no police on Scab Island. Then who eats the donuts and roughs up the transients? I roughs up on needs roughing up on this island. Whoa. Hey! You're loaded! This is my lucky night! Remember, wherever you go, on sea or on land, you can't ever hide from Lago Legrand! Tough town. I guess I should have got those traveler's checks. Yeah? What's the problem with that Largo guy? He really goes against my grain. I'd like to make an end table out of him, but I don't have the guts. With all my tools, I'm still unable to create the one thing that could do this island some good. Like an all-night tattoo parlor? No. Like a voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. Oh. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck could chuck no amount of wood since a woodchuck can't chuck wood. But if a woodchuck could chuck and woodchuck some amount of wood, what amount of wood would a woodchuck chuck? Even if a woodchuck could chuck wood, and even if a woodchuck would chuck wood, should a woodchuck chuck wood? A woodchuck should chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood, as long as a woodchuck would chuck wood. Oh, shut up. Nice apron. Are you some sort of chef? No, I'm a woodsmith. Which gives one of us an excuse for dressing funny. 
I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. I don't think he'd like that. Hello. Uh, excuse me. Oh, uh, yes. Hi there. Can I help you? Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, LeChuck Busting Stud. Uh-huh. Hey, where's my monocle? Not responsible for lost buttons or hooks. Wake up! What is it? Long time no see. Do we know you? I'm Guybrush. You tried to sell me the minutes of a PTA meeting in the last game, claiming it was a map? Map? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. No, really. Why did you wake us up, Gorbush? What are you guys doing up there? We're performing. Uh, that's right. Performing. That's what we do for a living now. You see, after our circus failed, we started a pirate catering business on nearby Fat Island. The Sacking Lunch. It was quite lucrative. Why aren't you still doing that? The governor of the island made us an offer we, uh, <laughs> couldn't refuse. So, we sold him the business. Yeah? We sank the money into one of those newfangled glass bottom boats. We wanted to take passengers on sightseeing trips and search for a place called Drinky Island in our spare time. Boy, did we ever want to get there. Aside from the obvious reason, we had inside information that Drinky was in fact the resting place of the legendary treasure of Big Whoop. Big Whoop? Uh, did you find anything? Not exactly. You see, we got a bit of a raw deal on the boat. Seems the salesman didn't have any glass for the bottom, so we just left a gaping hole there. By the time we noticed, we were taking on water, fast. We ended up stranded on a tiny desert island. How much longer is this story? We met a philosopher on the island, and he told us something which changed our lives. That you should bore passers-by to tears with long stories? He told us that all the world is a stage and that we are merely players. So, we became performance artists. In our current work, we portray man's response to global environmental issues of a changing world. How come you have to perform on that ledge? Uh, to show the precarious nature of the situation. Eh, uh, so to speak. Right, right. I think you're overlooking the potential symbolism to be gained by your closeness to the Earth. Um... But... All right, you got us. We're really up here because... Well... We're afraid to come down. What? What's the word for it, Frank? Uh... Uh... Hmm... Stupidity? It's the opposite of acrophobia. Something like... Orcaphobia. Sounds more like workophobia to me. Say what you will, we're not coming down. What happened to your leg? 
It happened during a performance. When he lost the leg, Frank was brilliantly showing the inseparability of the path man walks from the food chain. The symbolism of the cheese was essential. You know, this leg is looking sort of dingy. Would you get some polish over at the woodsmiths and polish it for me? Give me money for the polish. Okay. Is that your rat? Yes. We call him Munster Monster because of his insatiable passion for cheese. See you later. We can scarcely contain our anticipation. What do you know about Largo Legrand? I don't know anything about cargo or contraband. I'm clean, clean, clean! Who are you? Sure, Sonny, I can get out stew. That's easy. I can also extract grog, spit, and swamp mud. That's because I'm mad, Marty. I'm mad about getting your clothes the cleanest they can be. I've got a laundry type question. Shoot. Would you be able to get out ketchup? Get out ketchup? What do you want me to do? Uh, nothing. I'd like to pick up some clothes. Do you have your claim ticket, Sonny? No, I don't have my claim ticket. You don't have to shout at me. I can hear you. But I can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. Oops. I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. Excuse me, I'd like a room, please. Sorry, we only have one, and it's full. I could lose a finger doing that. Oh, isn't that cute? Help wanted. One week's salary in advance. Inquire below. The Bloody Lip Bar and Grill. Better leave it there. Don't want to hurt business. It reads, Jojo. Appearing nightly. No cover charge. I should have listened to my mother. I should have practiced. I should have listened to my mother. I should have practiced. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? How's business? It's just terrible. No one ever comes down here anymore. Largo's got all my regulars spooked. You know, I can mix any drink there is. Make anything you could name. But I can't make the one thing that could really do this island some good. What's that? A voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. You there! Uh-oh. Give me my usual and put it in a real glass. Fork over the dough or you'll be serving Bloody Marys for a week. From your nose. That's all I have. Well, you better have more tomorrow. Or we might have to move this dump to a new location. Like, say, the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Boy, you just gave him all your money? 
I don't want to talk about it. Largo's been here. Hey! Hired help only! Excuse me. Yeah, boy? I saw your sign outside. What's the job? Oh, yeah. I really should take that thing down. I hired a new cook just this morning. But if things don't work out with him, I'll let you know. Grog, please. It's shaken, not stirred. <laughs> Maybe you'd like a Shirley Temple instead. I'm old enough. Look at my beard. Ha! <laughs> That's the oldest trick in the book. Tell you what, I'll let you have some near grog. Doesn't have any alcohol in it, but it's just as nasty smelling and foul tasting as that stuff grown ups drink. Right on. Oh, wait. What am I saying? I just sold the last of it to Kate. Sorry. Rats. Of course, if you have some ID. Who's this Kate person you mentioned? Ah, the courageous Captain Kate Capsize. Tough as steel, sharp as nails. She rents her ship out, does some freelance pirating. Her only loyalty is to the highest bidder. Don't get on her bad side. Want to see my scar? Depends. Is there a good story behind it? As a matter of fact, there is. It's a story of the ghost pirate LeChuck and his gruesome demise. Heard it. This is the one where he drinks too much root beer and burps so hard he explodes, right? Mm, not exactly. Frankly, I don't care much for stories that promote moderation in drinking. I do have a business to run, you know. Nice place you have here. Well, see ya. buy some wood polish? That's one piece of eight. Anything else? I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. Oh no you don't. It's not for sale. Comfortable looking chair. It's not for sale. Thanks. Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. That wouldn't be wise. Nice. Hey, leave that alone. Do you think you could let me have this bucket? No. Please? No. Pretty please? No. Pretty, pretty please? No. Pretty please with sugar on top? No. Pretty please with sugar and a cherry? No. Pretty please with sugar, nuts, and a cherry? No. 
pretty please with sugar nuts, a cherry, and chocolate sprinkles? No. I really need it. No. I really, really need it. No. I really desperately need it. No. Well, I didn't want that old bucket anyway. Hello? Hello, man. My name's Captain Dredd. What can I do for ya? Navy Dreads. Thanks, man. I need to charter a ship. I can't charter you my ship because a while ago I lost my lucky sailing necklace. I called it my eye that has seen the world. I can't sail without it. No way, man. Besides, that mean and nasty guy Largo. He has an embargo on the island. No ships can sail in or out without his approval. There's no way he would let me leave. Why can't I charter your ship? Like I said before, man, I lost my lucky eye that has seen the world sailing necklace. Besides, Lago has an embargo on the island. Tell me more about that necklace thingy you lost. It happened some time ago. My navigator and I set sail for this legendary island. When we arrived, we were taken prisoner by cannibals. I escaped, man. But my navigator was not so lucky. All I found of him was one of his eyeballs. And I've kept it as a good luck charm. Gee, I think I've met your friend. Unlikely. I gotta run. Lots of treasure hunting to do. Okay. Bye, man. Come again. Would you like my monocle? Thanks, man. This'll do just fine for me lucky sailing necklace. What can I do for ya? I gotta run. Lots of treasure hunting to do. Okay. Bye, man. Come again. It says, and I quote, Captain Dredd's ship charters. 20 pieces of eight. Inquire within. International House of Mojo. It looks murky. I don't want to touch it with my hands.
Well, it appears to be bolted to the table. I'll just take a little. Guy brush three wood. It's been a long time since you last came to see me. Do I know you from somewhere? Ah, we often forget those who help us most. We do? It was I who told you how to do away with Lechuk. I told you where to find the voodoo anti-root, and how to turn it into the powerful, ghost-dissolving potion you needed. Oh, yeah, now I remember. How's business? Very good. Many hexes this week. Saved many people from the evil eye. Made many pieces of eight. Although Largo took most of them. Tell me about this Largo guy. He's a weak little man who bullies this whole island around. Most people are afraid of him because he was once LeChuck's right-hand man. Yeah, but LeChuck's history! I got rid of him myself! True evil can never be destroyed completely. You will see. Why don't you just put a curse on Largo? I've tried. My most powerful magic lies in voodoo dolls. But to make an effective doll, I need some items from Largo's person, and no one's brave enough to go get them for me. What kind of ingredients do you need for the doll? Are you willing to help me make one? Uh, maybe? To make it work, you need to bring me some personal artifacts of the victim. One from each of the four basic voodoo groups. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. Hey, that almost rhymes. For the thread, I need a piece of Lago's clothing. And a lock of hair will do for the head. Bring me a sample of fluid from his body. And from his dead relatives, you must acquire some remnant of a corpse. Here, take the shopping list. Thanks. Now go. Hmm, this door appears to be locked. Steam and weenies, 20 feet. I can't pick that up. Wrap Scallion Steam and Weenie Hut. Place order here. He's back! Tell me about this Largo guy. A two-bit thug. He's nothing but a low-down weasel. So why don't you kick Largo off the island? Well, we would. But he was very close to LeChuck. But LeChuck's gone forever. I heard they never found his body. That's because I blew it into a thousand pieces. Oh no, not this story again. How's the pirate biz? Horrible. The sailing embargo has all of us pirates landlocked. We can't go about our business. Some of us tried pirating on land, but it just didn't feel right. What's this about an embargo? 
The Largo Embargo. Well, it's not really an embargo. It's a tax on ships coming or going. But it's a huge tax that no captain on this island can afford. Including Dread. That fool Largo doesn't know when to stop. He can't take more from us than we have. <laughs> Any idea where I could hire a ship? You'll need to go to the far side of the island. And there, you'll meet a man named... Captain Dredd. Yikes. Sounds intimidating. Not really, once you get to know him. Of course, he can't take you anywhere until Largo lifts his sailing embargo. Any marshmallows left? Marshmallows? We don't have any marshmallows. What's that white puffy thing on the end of your stick? It's the stuffing for under my eye patch. We're just sterilizing it. We're pirates, Guybrush, not Girl Scouts. Do you guys know any piratey songs? Sure, Fink here knows a million. Go ahead, Fink. Sing that one about Scab Island. Oh, all right. Well, I'd rather be a pirate on Scab. Than a scab on a pirate. And if you listen to me, Gab, I'll tell you why I admire it. Oh, the people are too friendly, the weather's not the best. The lodging's too expensive, and Largo's quite a pest. But the thing I like about scab is what it hasn't got. No mayor or police force, and no jail in which to ride. That was beautiful. Well, I'll see you salty dogs later. That reminds me, do we have any weenies left? <laughs>